hands together for David Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen, David Rodriguez. All right, this is actually just the halfway point. We've got about 15 more comics, and we're going to wrap it up. You guys having a good time? Okay. <laughs> Feeling good, guys? Uh, me and my girlfriend just got married last month. I just got married. Thanks. Feels good, you know? Like, we've been together a long time. Our relationship didn't really change, but, like, I feel more mature, like, immediately, you know? Like, instead of saying, like, my girlfriend keeps telling me to get a real job. You know, like now I get to say my wife uh, handles our finances, you know, like it just, it just sounds, sounds better, you know. We, uh, she wanted to go on a hike the other day and I was like, I don't know, uh, I'm not, I'm not an outdoorsy person, you know, I don't fit in in Colorado in that way. Like the most, the most in tune with nature I've been since I moved here five years ago is today I forgot my phone when I went to poop, you know what I mean? Like you got, <laughs> You ever get in tune with nature that way? You're just alone in the bathroom? You're just... Is this camping? Am I camping right now? Or is that what... <laughs> My friends are like, is it amazing living in a place with legal marijuana? Is it the best living in a place with legal weed? And I'm just like, yeah, it's great if you love living every day having crippling trust issues with all baked goods in your life. It's everywhere here. I could be at a church bake sale. I'm like, what's in these brownies, huh, sister? Huh? Why is this snickerdoodle $9, huh? Mm -mm. <laughs> You'd think with all the weed, everybody would be chill here, but it's not like I was leaving a show in Denver last week. I'm walking out to the parking lot, and there was a dude actively breaking into my car, which, yeah, is a nightmare when you look like this, especially. Like, I don't... <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Like, instinct just took over, and I just went, hey, that's my car. And I was like, ooh. Like, have you guys ever surprised yourself with your own bravery before? <laughs> the guy is breaking into my car. hears this, looks up, sees me, and just goes, shut up. <laughs> and then again... <laughs> Again, out of instinct, I just went, sorry. I just said, sorry? I don't know why my brain thought that I was, you know, in the wrong. I'm just like, well, he's at work. You're yelling at him. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, my wife and I, we had, we had kids before we got married. Quick round of applause. Round of applause if you have kids. Round of applause if you have kids in here. All right. Uh, round of applause if you don't have kids. That's, that's, I think it's actually less people, just so you know. Like, there's an energy level difference <laughs> that you got to take into account. Every time I'm like, round of applause if you have kids, at least one person's just like, <sighs> just can't even. <laughs> one, th one thing that I love about uh, having kids, we got two kids. And uh, I was, you get to show your kids movies that you watched when you were a kid that you were a big fan of, which is awesome. You know, like I showed my son Star Wars for the first time, and that's great. You know, like watching him watch Star Wars for the first time, you know, like a seven-year-old. And like you get a different perspective on it, too, which is also awesome as a dad. Like as a kid, <laughs> you see Darth Vader for the first time, and you're like, oh, here is the most evil villain in the whole universe, you know? And then you watch, you watch, you get to watch Star Wars as a dad, and you see Darth Vader. You're like, now here's a guy, <laughs> here's a guy that didn't let kids get in the way of his career. <laughs> it's, it's inspiring, you know what I mean? That's. <laughs> My son dropped the first ever f bomb of his life. It was a great moment, middle of a crowded Target. You know, really proud for the whole family. It was great. <laughs> Had to be a good role model, so like I pulled him in close, you know, got all stern, got all dadly, and I was like, son, where did you hear that word? <laughs> he got all scared. He's like, my friend Tristan said it. <laughs> I, got right in his, I was like, I don't ever, ever again want to hear you narc out one of your friends like that. <laughs> Snitches get stitches. We know the rules. <laughs> all right, thank you guys so much. I'm David Rodriguez. Good up for Deacon. <laughs>